subtraction without borrowing by counting the dots. Starry, you look very happy today. Oh, the teacher praised you because you shared a pencil with your friend. How many pencils are left with you now, Starry? What are you thinking? See, there were three pencils in your compass yesterday. How many pencils did you give to your friend? Only one. So see now, how many are left? Yes, two pencils. We can do the same calculation using subtraction. The original number of pencils was three. So let's draw three dots. Out of these, you gave one pencil to your friend. So we cut one dot. How many dots are left? Yes, two. So three minus one is two. So Starry, whenever we have to find how many objects are left or remaining, then we should do subtraction. Okay then, Starry. Let us learn how to do subtraction with the help of dots. Subtract 4 from 7. First, we shall draw 7 dots. Now, we have to subtract 4 from 7. So, we cut 4 dots. Now, Starry, let us count how many dots are remaining? Yes, three dots are left. So, seven minus four equals three. The next sum is nine minus four. So, Starry, how many dots should we draw? Yes, nine. Now, we have to subtract four. So, we shall score out four dots. How many dots remain, Starry? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So, nine minus four equals five. In the next example, subtract three from six. So, Starry, what should we do? Yes, on cutting out three dots from six dots, only three dots remain. So, six minus three is three. Now, the example is given in horizontal arrangement. We have to first write it in vertical arrangement and then subtract. Subtract 2 from 7. First, let us arrange it in vertical arrangement as shown. Now, what shall we do, Starry? Yes, first we shall draw 7 dots. Now, we will cut 2 dots. So, 5 dots are remaining. Hence, 7 minus 2 is 5. Look at the next example. Subtract 6 from 8. First arrange it vertically. Now we shall draw 8 dots. How many dots should we score out, Starry? Yes, 6 dots. So, only two dots remain. Thus, eight minus six is two. In the next example, we have to subtract five from six. 
So let's draw six dots and then cut off five. How many dots remain? Yes, one. Hence, six minus five equals one. Let's make subtraction more interesting. Instead of drawing dots, let's draw some pictures now. For example, Sham had six balls. He gave two balls to Ali. How many balls are left with Sham? So, Starry, instead of dots, here we shall draw Six balls. Next, we shall score out two balls which he gave to Ali. Now, let's count how many balls are left with Sham. Yes, four balls. So, four balls are left with Sham. John had brought six apples from the market. He ate three apples. How many apples are left with him? So, Starry, what should we do now? Yes, first we shall draw six apples. Now he ate three apples. So, we shall cut three apples. So, how many apples are left? Yes, three apples. Look at the next example. Eight flowers had blossomed on a plant. Shruti plucked five flowers. How many flowers are left on the plant now? Hey Starry, what shall we draw here first? Yes, let's draw eight flowers. Now we cut five flowers from it. So how many flowers are left Starry? Yes, three flowers. Starry, in subtraction also, we can write the example in horizontal arrangement. The answer remains the same. C. Subtract 2 from 4. We write it as 4 minus 2. On solving, we get 4 minus 2 equals 2. Now let's take a look at the next example. Subtract 3 from 5. How should we write it, Starry? Yes, we write it as 5 minus 3. What will be the answer? The answer is 2. See, Starry, the next example is very interesting. Suppose there are six glasses. A ball hits them and all six glasses break. How many glasses are left? Yes, no glasses are left. In such cases, we shall score out all six dots from six dots. So, not even one dot remains. Hence, the answer is zero. So, Starry, when we subtract any number from itself, the remainder is zero.
Look at this example story. Nisha had seven chocolates, but she did not give any chocolate to anyone. So, we have to subtract zero from seven. We do not score out any dot. So, seven minus zero is seven. What do we understand from this story? When we subtract zero from any number, the remainder is that number itself. Did you understand story? Okay, then let's solve these examples. There are two columns. The questions are given in column A and the answers in column B. Match the correct questions to their answers. The first question is 9 minus 9. What will be the answer? Yes, 0. Can you answer the next question? C. It is 12 minus 0. Yes, the answer is 12. The next question is 4 minus 0. What is the answer? Yes, the answer is 4. And here's the last one. What will be 5 minus 0 equal to? Yes, 5 minus 0 equals to 5. So, Stari, we have learnt nice, easier method of subtraction, isn't it?